how you guys doing? Another DIY Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? So last week what we showed you, new range cycles, you know what I'm saying? Take off the rear, take off the rear fender, you know what I'm saying? This is how we showed you last week. So we tell you gonna show you this week, we're gonna remove the front fenders. We got my man A here still, again, back yeah. again, you know what I'm saying? Back working on the artist, the bike formerly known as Blue Flame, you know what I'm saying? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the fenders. Quick, easy, easy. You know what I'm saying? We got four screws. I'm just gonna explain to y'all real quick and then we're gonna show y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Four screws, one, two, three, four here. Um, you got screws behind these reflectors. They're gonna pop these reflectors off. You get the screws for the light, so you make sure you pop both of the reflectors off. And then there's gonna be two screws underneath for the light. It's gonna pop the light out. Gonna be able to slide the light out, get the wires out of there, and then it's basically easy. So this is probably gonna be a fast one for you guys, all right? So one of them eight minute joints. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do eight minutes because we gotta get that up. Uh, Hold on, forgot to tell you, KingJoffeeJoe413.com, get your merch, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to forget to get your merch, represent, help support the channel, you know what I'm saying? Your support helps us do better giveaways, you know what I'm saying? Um, coming soon, Brandon King Exhaust, you know what? Starting right now, starting a giveaway. What you want to give away? Y'all want to give away? Who wants a tank bag? Anyone want a tank bag? Let's do the tank bag giveaway. Let's start this off. Let me see. Uh, right here, brought to you. From the homie Fed over at Top Notch Riker Mods, you know what I'm saying? Top Notch Riker Mods tank bag. Who wants a tank bag? We got the Can Am Riker tank bag. Brand new in the packaging. It's not gonna be in the packaging no more because I'm opening it to show you guys. Right there. Right there. Right there. So, what we need you to do, what we need you to do to enter this giveaway. You know what I'm saying? What you gotta do on this giveaway? You gotta be a subscriber of KingJoffeeJoe413.com. You know what I'm saying? I need you to hit a hashtag Top Notch Riker Mods in the comments. That's all I can get to do. Top Notch Riker Mods in the comments. Hashtag Top Notch Riker Mods in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. We're gonna be doing a uh, live for this to give it away. So if you want a free bag, and like, like me, if you look at my bike, look at my bike. Go around to my bike. I don't even really use my bag. But I do use this as a, like a little protector, you know what I'm saying? I protect my joint, you know what I'm saying? I don't use my bag, but I use that. Look over here at Blue Flame, he uses his bag, you know what I'm saying? He might as well hit Top Notch Riker Mods and try to win him a new one because his is looking like it's a little beat up. Um, but, Top Notch Riker Mods in the comments, we're starting this giveaway. Let's get it. So, back to our regular schedule program. Let's remove these fenders. All right. Right, you grab that drill, it's on reverse already. There's a little fuse right here. Yeah, we're gonna use that. What size is that? What size is on the socket on there? That's the uh, 13? 13 millimeter. Alright, boom, boom. Four screws out, guys. Um, Use my little flathead screwdriver. We're gonna pop off this reflector here. Boom. We got a bit right there we're gonna be taking out. Pocket, we're using a 20T. 20T. So, after we get the fenders off, we like to put these ones back in the holes because um, I don't like my holes to get all rusty and stuff. And if I ever want to put the fenders back on, I'll know where the screws are. Uh, there might be something that comes out where I need to use these screws, and it'll be nice just to have them here. So, all right. So now, guys, when you take it off your fender, you're gonna grab it from the bottom here, and we're gonna swing up the bottom here. What we're gonna do is unhook this side right here off that like that, and you bring it down here. See that? Nice and easy. It's not. It's not really as difficult as some people make it seem. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the light is clipped in right there. So what we're gonna try to do is pull the fender down, push the light up to unclip it. Okay. There we go, like just like that. 
right, we're gonna try to give it some slack in the wire, make sure. <laughs> so we can clip it. Uh, it don't give you that much space. There we go. Uh, All right, there we go. I'm gonna use this ratchet here. It's the eight millimeter we got here. We're gonna take out this screw right here in the front. Because we have to separate this to get the wire out. So we got a clip here, we got a clip here. We're gonna try to push this clip down and separate this part from this part because underneath here, the wire runs up here and then it hooks around something and then it runs back this way. Why they did that, who knows? You know what I'm saying? You never know what the people that made this was thinking. So I'll go right there, I'll try to go between the clip and that so it's pushed down enough. Then after I get that in there, I'll try to pull it apart. All right, here we go. Whew. Now we can reach down in here. Tuck this out of here. Get that wire out. All right, so, all right, let me show you something, guys. So now, fender eliminator, fender is gone. So, come over here, we're gonna start this white. <coughs> let me show you something. So, the reason why I have my tail or blinkers zip tied to my uh, A arms, because obviously you need blinkers in the front, but if you turn it on, we're gonna start this up real quick. Good, no code, no code or nothing, right? So now we're gonna put it in reverse or forward and we're gonna roll a little bit. We're gonna put it in reverse because we're gonna go backwards because we don't wanna roll over nothing. And we're gonna roll a little bit. Once we put it in reverse, we're gonna get a cold. Well, the code didn't pop up right now, but if you ride it for a little bit, you're gonna get a cold. Let's see, let's see. Settings. Codes. All right, so we did get a code actually. Because I want to say codes if it didn't have a code. The codes wouldn't even be there. Codes. B, D6, B2, D60, B2, D50. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a transmission code, like an engine malfunction code. It's a code saying that. There's something wrong with your blinkers. That's what it's telling you. So it's not gonna mess up the performance of your bike, but you're gonna have that little exclamation point every time you ride. I don't want that on my bike. I don't wanna be seeing that while I'm riding. You wanna see that on your bike? Nah, nah, he don't wanna see that either. So this is why we put the factory blinkers back on there and we zip tie them to the front so we still have our blinkers because what we are gonna do is we're just gonna put light strips, you know what I'm saying? Because it look better with light strips. But we're gonna have codes. We don't want codes. So we're gonna zip tie them on the front, make it look good. All right? That one in. So I'm gonna run the wire. So if you look at this, it kind of like bends with the bike. So if you put it this way, like that way, it sits nice, you know what I'm saying? So one way, it sits better than the other. It sits nice like that, actually. Yeah, I think I saw that mine with this on the inside. So like right here, it like sits kind of sits right there. You probably like a spot that kind of sits in there, right? Yeah, right here, snug. Yeah, yeah, see, it's a little snug. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna zip tie it up like that. Yeah. 
I just clip some clips of couples up ties. We about done. You know what I'm saying? My man's A's bike. You know what I'm saying? Blue flame is changing. You know what I'm saying? It's because it's done changed to a quick change overnight. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Check you in the next one. Peace.